In Williamsburg, Virginia, in 1765, Thomas Jefferson bought a copy of the Quran. He put it in his law library since for him, it was an inspired law book produced by one of the world's great legislators, Muhammad. From the 18th century onwards, many European and American leaders saw Muhammad as a symbol of justice and law. Napoleon was among them, as we shall see. Indeed, today, portrayal of Muhammad as one of 18 lawgivers graces the frieze in the central chamber of the U.S. Supreme Court, meant to incarnate the principles of justice that the court upholds. (laughs) 